welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today it's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three absolutely delicious recipes. We have a amazing kind of copycat breakfast recipe, a zero point lunch, crazy, and a pumpkin fall inspired snack slash dessert Everything's incredible, so I can't wait to share these three recipes with you. You will find these recipes on my website. My website is linked down in the description box. Also in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching website. I'd love to help figure your macros and calories. It's always really good to kind of have knowledge in the bank when it comes to how much of each macronutrient, carbs, fats, proteins you should be eating every single day. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching, so check that out as well. Links and discount codes I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things are also down in that box. You'll also find the link to head over and join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So make sure you're checking out the description box. If you're new, stick around, subscribe, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I'd love to have you join this community as well. And last but not least, before we make some delicious recipes give this video a thumbs up if you love meal preps it means a lot to me and really helps out my channel so my friends let's jump into this week's meal prep this week I'm making omelet in a hole which is kind of a spin on Cracker Barrel eggs in a basket which is one of my favorite things from Cracker Barrel so I'm making a WW friendly version so let me show you what's in breakfast you're going to need whatever bread that you want to use now when I give you the points I will give them to you based on one smart point per slice bread I believe mine is two smart points. So my points will vary a little bit, but I will make it as low point as possible for you by sharing that on my website. So I'm gonna use this Trader Joe's sprouted bread. I'll use the Oscar Mayer fully cooked bacon. Now you could probably lower the points even more with center cut bacon. I'm also going to use my Yoko's plant-based butter. This is one substitution. You can use light butter and lower the points as well. So again, the points I give you will include light butter, one smart point per slice of bread. I'm also going to need some eggs, an onion, a couple of bell peppers, salt and pepper, and then light cheese of your choice. I'm just using this Good and Gather reduced fat Mexican. So let's make some omelet in a hole. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my two bell peppers and my onion. I'm just going to throw them in a bowl here so that we can get them cooking up on the stove. Into my skillet here, I added two tablespoons of my Mayoko's butter. I am going to add my chopped up onion and bell pepper to the butter. You would also add in your bacon. If you aren't using fully cooked bacon, you'll want that to fry up with the onions and peppers. But I'm going to wait till mine are just about soft and then I'll pop in the bacon because it's already pre-cooked. Alrighty, it's done. Peppers, bacon, onions, everything is done. I'm just going to transfer them into a bowl here. So in my bowl here, I'm going to break six eggs. I'm gonna whisk that together with some pepper, some salt, and half of a cup of light cheese. We need one cup total, but we're reserving the second half of a cup. So let's whisk together these eggs. So we're gonna do an omelet in a hole. So I'm going to spray my pan with some nonstick cooking spray. Since my bread slices are a bit smaller, I'm going to go ahead and pop those into my pan. And then I'm going to cut a hole with this little bowl in the middle of my bread. And my bread is still a bit frozen. So I'm going to push that down as hard as I can. Now if your bread wasn't frozen, it may be a bit easier, but you can see that I was able to pop out that little piece of bread. And I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm going to do that with this same on this other slice of bread. 
So there we go. And then with my egg mixture, my egg and cheese mixture here, I'm going to put one sixth of it right in the middle of that bread where that hole is. And then to that, I'm going to add my pepper onion mixture. And you can see that it is gonna kind of leak out a little bit and that is just fine. It will just cook the egg regardless and we'll have this nice kind of crusty egg bread. It should be really, really good. So I'm going to spread this mixture kind of on top. And then from there, we are going to let everything kind of cook down until the eggs are cooked. And then we will flip this bread as well to get it nice and kind of crispy. And that will be added to the overall omelet in a whole. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of cheese. Remember, we only use half of a cup of our one cup of cheese for this recipe. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon on top. Let this cook. Now this is looking so good. Look, our bread has gotten kind of crispy. So it looks like the egg is cooked all the way through. And I am going to warm these up throughout the week. So the egg will get a little bit more cooked. So I kind of want to leave it a little uncooked. If that makes sense, I just don't want it to overcook once I go to warm it up. So I'm going to remove these, put these on a plate to cool, and we'll do the next two slices. Alrighty, so the omelet in the hole is done. These are my last two. It made six total. You can see that I'm storing them here in a little container. I just put a parchment sheet between each layer just so they don't stick together. And then when I go to eat this, I'm probably going to pop it in my air fryer because I'm hoping that will crisp up these little breads a little bit more in the air fryer and finish cooking the eggs. You can see they're not fully cooked just because again, I don't want them overcooked when I go to warm these up. So let's talk about points. And again, with substitutions of light butter instead of regular butter and one smart point bread, each omelet in a whole, so this entire thing, center included, is six points on both blue and purple and eight points on the green plan because you do have to account for the egg on the green plan. But this is going to be delicious. Pair this with a little bit of fruit and you have a nice, hearty, well-rounded breakfast. For lunch this week, I'm making healthy grilled pineapple chicken, but we're not gonna grill it. We're gonna go ahead and cook it in the oven, but I'm making a pineapple chicken with a marinade, and that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'll probably pair this with either rice, or I may just have some extra veggies with this, but this is going to be really, really delicious. So let me show you what's in lunch. You'll need either chicken breast or chicken thighs. The recipe points I give you are based on chicken breast, but it's entirely up to you, whatever you decide to use for your meat. And then also some pineapple. You can use fresh or canned. I have this in my pantry, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And then for the marinade, you'll need tomato paste, coconut aminos, chili powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and then I'm gonna use sucrine gold, which is a brown sugar alternative that will kind of give it a little bit of sweetness that'll pair really nicely with the pineapples. So let's make some pineapple chicken. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut up my chicken breast. I'm just going to cut them into a little bit smaller pieces so that they'll cook on the stovetop a little bit faster. So probably into strips because I think that would be really delicious with the pineapple. So I'll go ahead and slice them like this and then again slice them down the middle. Mine are still a bit frozen which is actually a good thing. It makes cutting a little bit easier. So this is essentially how I'll cut the chicken is into some strips. So I have my chicken all cut up. Now I'm going to make kind of a quick marinade to cook the chicken in. So I opened up my can of pineapple and I'm just going to drain the juice. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get the majority of the pineapple juice out. And we'll use that as a portion of the liquid here for the marinade. So to that, I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of coconut aminos. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that, about a quarter of a cup. There's no point, so just kind of wing it. You do want that salty sweet though that comes with adding soy sauce or coconut aminos to the recipe. We're also going to add some chili powder and I don't want mine too spicy. You know how I am about my spice. A little bit of garlic powder and last but not least a little bit of smoked paprika and then I'm going to give this a quick stir before I add in just a bit of tomato paste. So lastly is about a quarter of a cup of tomato paste. So we'll add that 
which is pretty much the rest of this jar. So that worked out perfect between the two recipes. We used up the rest of the jar of tomato paste. And then we're going to, again, stir that together, make sure everything's nice and combined, and let's start cooking our chicken. So I have about a medium-sized skillet you can see here. I am going to spray it with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. And then once it warms up, we'll go ahead and we'll add in our chicken. We're going to let it cook almost all the way before adding in our marinade and our pineapple. Okay, chicken is coming along. So what we are going to do next is add in the marinade and we're going to let that cook along with the chicken. The very last thing we're going to do right before everything is done is pop in that pineapple. We don't wanna let that get mushy from cooking for too long. So we're going to let this cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. This smells so good, you guys. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the whole can of pineapple. This is in regular juice so there is no point in this pineapple just make sure whatever you buy is an in syrup and it's zero smart points so i am going to stir this all together i want to let the pineapple simmer with this sauce continue to thicken up the sauce and really absorb the sauce into both the chicken and the pineapple so it is done i went ahead and just added it to a big bowl here i'm going to let it cool completely before i pop a lid on but i'm just going to serve myself out of this all weeks this makes only four servings so that's a lot of chicken sauce and pineapple and the best part about this lunch is it's zero smart points on blue and purple there is nothing in this that has points if you're on the green plan you would just need to count points for chicken so what i would recommend is before you start preparing your chicken go ahead and weigh it out divide it by four and that's how many points you would be having but zero points for this so feel free to pair this with some rice some extra vegetables really anything that you want it's a zero point lunch and it smells amazing i'm excited for a snack this week i'm making skinny pumpkin chocolate chip or in my case pumpkin spice chip oat bars i'm excited for this nice nice clean ingredients so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need some oat flour i just picked mine up off the thrive market i find it the most affordable i always grab it organic because oats are heavily sprayed with glycosate which is the active ingredient in roundup so you always want to buy those organic therefore oat flour because it's made from oats organic as well definitely check out the thrive market 30% less expensive than most grocery stores and thousands of healthy options on their website. I'll link it down below. When you join, you actually get a free gift up to a $22 value. So that's amazing. So definitely check out the Thrive Market. I'm going to be using Lily's Pumpkin Spice Baking Chips because I finally found these and I think they'll pair really nicely with this. You could use regular chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, whatever your preference is. You'll also need some unsweetened applesauce. This is also from Thrive because the most affordable there as well. Sucrine gold or brown sugar alternative of your choice. Salt, vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, whatever you have on hand is fine. And then I'm using the Dax pumpkin spice because as you guys know, this is my favorite pumpkin seasoning ever. It is nice and clean, no MSG, no salt, and it has honey. Even though it's 0.0, .0 calories, the honey just brings out the flavors of the spiciness. I'm obsessed. It's almost gone, and I'm definitely ordering again before it's gone for the season. It's amazing. So check out Dax. All of their spices are no MSG, no salt, nice, clean ingredients. My discount gets you 10% off and free shipping. So of course, I'm using pumpkin spice. And then in this container is just some canned pumpkin puree. It was left over. So I need a cup, which is about what this is. Baking powder, baking soda, and butter. Now, again, I'm using Myoko's plant-based butter, but the points I give you will be using light butter because I know a lot of you like to get as low a points as possible. If you do use a regular butter or a plant-based, just recalculate your points. So let's get started. So we're ready to start on our bars. So in my measuring cup here, I have two and a half cups of oat flour. Now, if you're on the purple plan, you can count oat flour as zero points because basically it's oats ground up. So for you on the purple plan, that's a nice flour base to use because again, it can be zero smart points. And then we need about a cup of pumpkin puree. And like I said, I had opened this can one evening because Lola's tummy was hurting her. And so I was giving her pumpkin. Pumpkin really helps when dogs' tummies are hurting. So that's why I have that extra pumpkin on hand. 
We're gonna load it up with some pumpkin pie spice because it's my very favorite thing to add to anything pumpkin-y. A little bit of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, whatever it is that you're using. I have one half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, one half of a cup of sucrine brown sugar. We're gonna do just a little pinch of salt because salt helps bring out the sweetness. We are going to add three servings of the Lily's Pumpkin Spice Chips. One tablespoon of melted light butter, if you use light butter or plant-based butter. And then a couple teaspoons, one of baking powder and one of baking soda. And then we are going to stir this and get everything combined. You guys, this looks so good. I did taste it. There's no eggs in there, so feel free to lick the spoon, and it's amazing. So I'm going to spray my 9x9 nine nine baking dish. You could really use any baking dish that you want. It's just going to make your bars that particular shape. So I'm going to do this. We are going to add in all of the bar mixture and then we'll flatten it out so it's nice and even in the pan. Here she is. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. I'm popping it in the oven at 350 for 15 to 18 minutes or until done. These look incredible. My house smells fall. I love it so much between my crock pot stew for dinner tonight that I have going over there in these bars. It is fall vibes in my house. So these are going to cool for just a couple of minutes. I'll cut them into servings. I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is the size of the bars. That is a huge bar. This is what it looks like. I just sprinkled some of that Dax pumpkin spice on there. I'm actually going to have this for a snack. So it makes nine bars total. You can see how thick those are. You can see the melted pumpkin spice chips oh my gosh yum you guys these are only four smart points per serving on the blue and green plan and if you choose not to count the oat flour on purple which i wouldn't these are one smart point that's it you guys this would be a great breakfast a great snack pre post workout speaking of snack i'm about to dig in because this looks incredible thank you so much for joining me on this week's ww meal prep I hope you are as excited to recreate these recipes for your family as I was to make them. They're incredible. You will not be sorry if you make these for this next week. Also, if you're new to my channel, again, stick around, subscribe. We'd absolutely love, love, love to have you in this community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out that description box down below for my website so you can find these recipes to recreate them nutrition coaching, links and discount codes, and of course the link to join us on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's recipes. Happy Monday, and I'll see you next time. Bye!